everybody. My name is Gilbert Gonzalez and I'm the director of the Bear County Behavioral Health Department. And today is World Mental Health Day. So thank you for joining us today. Today, Bear County not only joins the state of Texas, the country, but the entire globe in bringing awareness to World Mental Health Day. We wanna make sure that we follow this year's theme, which is greater investment in mental health and greater access for all. That's so important. 25% of this country's population suffers from mental illness. So what can you do? Well, if you're comfortable, you can share your story, tell your story. And in doing so, you raise awareness. Raise it on a daily basis. Let folks know mental health is health. This year has made us all aware of how important community is to mental wellness. At the clubhouse, we've been working hard to keep our community, even though we can't be together. Mental wellness is purpose. Mental wellness is being myself. Mental wellness is a journey. Mental wellness is connection to what's important. Mental wellness is helping others. This World Mental Health Day, let's be well together. An exercise machine, a yoga mat, and a comfy pillow to do meditation. You don't need a whole room dedicated for, to mental wellness. You can use a closet, outside. The goal is to find something that you love to do and something that you can maintain and create a ritual because that is key. Thank you all for listening. Hi, I'm Velma Gettleman, and I'm the COO at Crosspoint. Happy World Mental Health Day. This year's theme of Mental Health for All, Greater Investment, Greater Access, is perfect timing during this uncertainty. Mental health is health, and it's time to make it available for everyone, everywhere. There should be no wrong entry points. We all deserve to have mental health, hope, and a great future. And we can, standing together an experience, not my experience, not your experience, and yet a true experience applicable to us all as told by Robert Pearson. During World War II, a fighter plane was badly damaged in a dogfight over the Pacific Ocean. The pilot had to ditch the plane in the rough and frigid waters. Before the plane sank, the pilot was able to deploy a life raft within the plane and drifted upon the waves like a cork for days. The pilot was asked during the rescue about survival techniques, about staying alive under such conditions. The response was the thing that kept him going and from giving up was the knowledge that someone was looking for him. A few reflections that can support us in rough seas and times. Access and use of resources, tools around us, life rafts if you will, family, friends, counselors, trusted people. Look beyond the waters towards the horizon. And thirdly, remember that there are those that are always looking for us and want us to be better. Hi, this is Jessica Knudsen, President and CEO of Clarity Child Guidance Center. We are proud to support the important work of NAMI and everyone involved with the NAMI Walk, being held virtually this year on World Mental Health Day. World Mental Health Day was founded to increase support and advocacy for those folks that are suffering from the effects of mental illness. If we've learned anything this last year, it's how important taking care of our mental health and dealing with stress is to our overall health. We have all been impacted in one way or another through this pandemic, especially our children and the changes to their life. So now more than ever, we need to be aware of our family, friends, and neighbors who need help and the ones who advocate and if needed, help them access care. Thank you all for being part of World Mental Health Day 2020 and doing your part to ensure mental health for all. Greater investment, greater access, everyone, everywhere. Everyone, everywhere, at home and in the community, we all have a part in supporting mental health. All of us are needed to ask for the investment in mental health care, including grassroots, community, and faith-based services and support. All of us are needed to increase access to mental health care by making our community stigma-free. Mental health education 
and compassion are the key to making our community welcoming and inclusive. Join our movement. Talk about mental health in your home, with your friends, at school, at work, and where you worship. Be a stigma buster. Be a mental health advocate. Everywhere, everyone, mental health for all. As a community, we come together to recognize World Mental Health Day. This year's national theme is Mental Health for All. It is important to recognize the power we have as a community to offer hope to those dealing with mental health issues and eradicating the mental health stigma. I would like my team member to share with you what hope means to those with mental health challenges. One thought is always make your past self jealous. Another, share that every moment matters, even this one. And my favorite is to not wait to sleep to start dreaming. We are experiencing an unprecedented time. The COVID pandemic has affected thousands of our friends and neighbors across our community and millions of people around the world. Even though you may be feeling anxious or afraid, we want you to know that help is available for you. Hispanic, African American, and other historically marginalized communities continue to face disproportionate challenges around access to and quality of care for mental illness and addictions due to systemic racism resulting in significantly poorer mental health outcomes. Now more than ever, we need to find ways to stay connected with each other because our mental health is just as important as our physical health and it deserves our attention and care. We believe that mental health and physical health is a human right and that everyone everywhere should have access to treatment. The Center for Healthcare Services offers this message of hope. We are here for you. So again, thank you for joining us today and we'll see you next time. Take care.